Meister. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Dave. How you doing? How you doing? How, how's everybody? Good, thanks. Yeah. Hey, um, I was just wondering, with regard to Tommy Townsend, he's from a punting family, like much like D uh, Dustin was. Um, do you find for with a specialized uh, thing like punting that maybe having somebody to rely on other than your coach kind of helps? That <laughs> being from a punting family might be some kind of uh, uh, advantage. It certainly doesn't hurt. Um, you know, the kid's got a lot of talent. Um, you know, we really liked him coming out. We, I had him rated the best punter coming out this year, and he was available for us, and, and those guys got it done to get him. So it was a pretty good deal. What do you like about him and um, Newsom, and, and what do you think each needs to prove to you to, to earn the job? Well, number one thing is it's a, it is going to be a true competition. I mean, there's nobody really out in front right now. I mean, as we look at it, uh, I, I like them both. Uh, they both they both got really really strong legs, really powerful leg. They they uh, consistently hit um, over 5-0 hang times, which is it's real impressive. Uh, Tommy's a little bit more, I'd say, a little bit more uh, clean in his technique uh, as far as um, consistency, where whereas is uh, Tyler Tyler's a little bit more of a, a little bit more erratic with his with his technique, but he's you know the results are the same. They both bomb the ball. Uh, we just need to clean Tyler up a little bit more. But I tell you what, uh, it's going to be fun. The competition is going to be real fun. Let's go to Mick Schaefer. Go ahead, Mick. Hey, Coach, how's it going? Thanks for doing this. How you doing? Yeah, great. Um, so what all will you be missing without Dustin Colquitt, punting, being on your team, being in the locker room, everything? Well, Dustin, I mean, you know, first off, I mean, he's the best punter I ever coached. So, you know, best punter I've ever been around. And uh, he's such a great person, a great team leader, um, you know, just a great teammate for everybody. He was, <laughs> you, know, you never knew what he was going to do. He was always going to have some kind of joke or, you know, a practical joke or something just to make everybody laugh in the room. And, uh, he was so great in the community, uh, you know, with his team smile, what he did there, and uh, just an awesome family man, spiritual guy. Uh, you know, he's going to be missed. Uh, he's going to be hard to replace. Uh, but, you know, I mean, that's the way that, that's the way the NFL is. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's, you know things change, and, and we need to move on. Let's go to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, thank you for taking some time with us. I was curious about uh, Antonio Hamilton and what you think he may be able to provide uh, your unit in particular. Yeah, Antonio is, he's a special guy. I mean, he's, uh, you know, he's a guy that, you know, obviously can play gunner and, and those are valuable players. So, uh, and, and he, you know, he's productive gunner. So, you know, I, we're penciling him in right now to be a four phase starter for us right now. So we haven't even had a meeting yet. We will uh, Thursday. And he'll find out about that. <laughs> he is going to be a four-phase starter. But uh, really, I don't think he, you know, he's he, he's going to hit the ground running for us. I mean, he's a guy that can come in and make plays. And you see him do it. You see him do it at the Giants. And, uh, you know, we're, I think we're really, really fortunate to have him. Let's go to Seren Petro. Go ahead, Seren. Uh, Coach, thank you for the time. And I know um, everybody's got to deal with this situation, right, doing everything via these Zoom calls and everything. But – uh, for special teams versus, uh, you know, offensive defense, you use the whole field uh, on most of what you do. Is it harder on special teams and, and getting ready for special teams than it is uh, for offense and defense having these limitations? Well, I mean, right now, I mean, we're, we're kind of fortunate because those guys can get together. You know, they can get together and, and kick and work on the operation and, you know, and, and they can do that on their own. Uh, so, you know, we can work our skill set. Whereas, you know, to play football, it's kind of tough to have, you know, you need 22 guys out there. And, you know, it's, 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 it's good for us to be able to, to be able to, at this time to be able to do those kind of things. I mean, we just, we can't sit down and meet, you know, face to face and I can't be out there watching them. Uh, that's the unfortunate thing, but they, they video everything that they do and they send it to me. And, and then we, we talk about it on, on virtual, you know, the, virtually. But, but but schematically, as far as like covering kicks and doing that kind yeah. of things, is that is that we, we just you know, we, like a, yeah, it's going to set us back a little bit. I mean, because right during this time of the year is where you're working fundamentals with everybody else, and and that's going to be set back. But everybody's in the same boat. We're just going to have to, you know, hit the ground running when we get to, when we do get to camp and we are get together. So, um, you know, it's just we're good. we're a little bit behind right now. I mean, if you if you compare it to where we were last year, but everybody's in the same boat. So. Uh, you know, the good thing is we've got a lot of guys coming back. 
You know, we, we, we had a young group last year and, and this is now going to be a lot of those guys second, third year now. And, you know, and I, I think we, we're going to be okay, you know, in those areas. Let's go to BJ Kissel. Go ahead, BJ. Hey coach, good to see you. I just, I want to ask about the, the draft class as a whole, just because it seems like from Willie Gay Jr. to the cornerbacks they drafted, they got long, athletic, big, fast guys, which are always going to, you know, appeal to you on special teams. Just how much were you involved in that and watching those guys leading up to the draft? And how quickly did you start, you know, figuring out roles for potential roles? For those guys, just seeing you know their pure athleticism and size and all those characteristics. Well, those you know um, those guys did a great job. You know, first of all, getting those players. Uh, you know, and and not only those players, but the, the free agents we got too. There's a lot of good players there too in that group. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we we evaluate each one of them. You know, Clyde, Willie, uh, Sneed, Keys. We had grades on each one of those players, special teams grades. And you know what we do. You know, we work with with each and and. And if we have two players that are close, we're going to take a special, you know, we'll take the special teams guy has a higher special teams grade uh, than the other. And all of these guys had good special teams grades. So I'm really excited about every one of them. They all got speed. They all got good height. You know, Clyde's not the tallest guy in the world, but he's so elusive. I just picture him playing PP for us on the punt team, you know, where he could get a direct snap and take off and uh, he could do a lot of things in that area. But we're also going to find out if he can tackle too. I mean, he's, He's, he, he's never done it before. We, we've talked a couple of times virtually and he's never done it, but he's looking forward to it. Uh, they're all excited, you know, and, and I'm excited to have all of them. Let's go to Vahe. Uh, go ahead, Vahe. Oh. Vahe, you got us? All right, Vahe, we're going to try to come back to you in a second here. Let's go to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Dave. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for doing this. Um, I know you, you just mentioned a little bit ago that I guess you guys may have not had a, a full player Zoom meeting in terms of special teams, guys, but how do you anticipate those meetings going? Uh, how many players do you think you have that are going to be involved? And what are the differences knowing that you're going to work with guys from both offense and defense and try to build some level of understanding when you guys do finally get to camp? Yeah, right now, right now I got 59 invitations out, you know, that they're, they're all going to sign in. So those are the guys that will be uh, – hopefully they'll all be on there, which they will. Uh, and then we'll sit down and we'll look at the review of last year real quick, and then we'll look at the depth chart, you know, what where I think everybody's going to be plugged in. Like, you know, like Willie Gay, for, he's going to find out that he's going to be a four-phase starter right off the bat. We're going to pencil him in as that guy. So, and, you know, all the way across the board, they're going to find out where they sit, what position they're going to play. Uh, we'll hit a little bit of punt on the first day, a little bit, you know, we'll install punt again, uh, like nobody knows what they're doing. We'll start off with that, and then and then we'll watch uh, uh, clips of uh, the, our first day. We're going to watch um, Pringle. Uh, we're going to watch his good plays and his bad plays from the whole entire season. And when, when you do that, you kind of you know you find the pluses and minuses. It also teaches uh, the young players what we're looking for: what is good, what is bad, what's bad effort, what's good effort. Uh, you know, what happens if you miss a tackle, you know, and sometimes you can turn it into a positive play, those type of things. Basically, you know, how we are philosophy-wise, you know, what we expect. Okay, Vahe, I think There's Vahe. Got... <laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, how you doing, Dave? Good. Good, Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Um, hey, I, I'm just curious uh, what you might be able to tell us about um, how you're – able to bring Andy Hill in to what degree you're able to do that right now if he's actually arrived and obviously you go a long way back with Andy what, what what's made him appealing to to join you guys yeah Andy and I go way back to Missouri days you know back in the 90s uh, you know he was on the Larry Smith staff we're all in the Larry Smith staff together and you know obviously he's a experienced you know he's been at Missouri for 24 years as a as a position coach, uh, I think he was even actually assistant head coach at one time, uh, offensive coordinator. You know, he's he's been at all there, and uh, you know we've always stayed in touch. We, we communicate all the time. And last year, in, in particular, mostly last year because he had he handled the special teams. He had the, the whole special teams unit. So we, uh, you know, we really spent a lot more time together. You know, as far as on the phone and and him visiting. You know, because he was in town all the time recruiting. Uh, but we're really good friends. Uh, you know, and it was really, I, I tried to talk him out of it. I told him, I said, this job, I mean, it's a, you got to put up, you got to do a lot of bullshit stuff, you know? And he was, he goes, Hey, he goes, you're not going to talk me out of it. I want to do it. I want to get in the NFL. And, 
and he convinced me and then I went in and convinced Andy that Andy uh, Reed that it was it, it would be a great hire to have him so you know we got it done and and, and I'm real happy to have him all right, guys, we've got time for a few more. So we're going to go with Harold, Matt, and then Herbie. Go ahead, Harold. Hey, Dave, hope you're doing all right. Uh, yeah. I think a couple people alluded to this, maybe they did, but when it comes to a point where you have just training camp and you know how important this special teams is to make the final 53 with a lot of these yeah. guys, are you going to have to try to tailor anything differently to, in your decision making or just have some kind of process in mind before you even get into what it potentially would be a training camp, however, that may act? Uh, to make that final, those my final decisions on the rosters with an idea in place or anything of that nature? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. That, that's going to be one of the challenges. You know, you're not going to get near as many reps to, to, to evaluate these guys. Like, usually we come into camp and I have an idea, okay, this guy can do this, he can do that. We're not going to know any of that, you know. So, you know, we got we to make faster decisions, quicker decisions. Um, we're going to rely on the preseason games. Hopefully we have preseason games. Uh, those are going to be critical uh, because that's the only time we get live tackling and live blocking. So uh, for us, th those are going to be huge. And and hopefully, you know, at the end of the day, we make the correct decisions. But it, like I said before, everybody's in the same boat. And uh, the good thing is we we already have a core group of good guy, good players, and we're going to filter in some of these young players in spots. So uh, we think they all can play, especially the draft picks. So uh, we'll we'll find we'll find good spots for them. It may be during the year where we end up. Uh, really getting our uh, solid, solid uh, group together. Great question, though. All right, let's go to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Coach, thanks for your time. Yeah. Um, when Tyreek was going into year two, you really reduced his role on special teams, took him off kick returns, and his, his punt return numbers were fewer. Is your kind of expectation is that you may end up doing the same thing with McColl this year as he gets more involved on in offense? And – are you looking at some of these, the uh, you know, whether it's the rookie class or the undrafted free agents who might be return guys? Yeah, we're going to – everybody – we start everybody off as a returner. I put everybody back there, like, pre-practice. You notice we have, like, 20, 20 guys out there sometimes. And so you never know. You find guys, diamonds in a rough, guys that haven't done it before, like Niall Davis. Never did it in college. He ended up doing it in the NFL. So, um, you know, we'll everybody will start there. Everybody's a four-phase guy. Uh, including, including Clyde. I mean, Clyde's going to be playing everything. He's never never done anything before, and, and Willie Gay and all those guys. But, but yeah, true. I don't, I'm not sure about Hardman. I don't want to lose him. I think he's just scratched the surface as a returner. I, I, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't reached his potential yet. You know, he could be even better. I think he knows that. And, you know, hopefully we can keep him in, in those roles. Um, you know, it's important. You know, it's important that, that to get the ball in the guys – uh, hands that can make plays, and he's he's one of them. All right, let's go to Herbie to close us out. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Coach, thanks for doing this. Hope you're well, man. Doing great. Hey, um, in addition to looking for a new punter, you're also going to be looking for a new holder this year. And you mentioned you're not out there watching the guys when they get together, but how much are you going to find yourself relying on what Harrison tells you about the holding and even James with their input before you are finally able to get them together to evaluate? Yeah, that's good. Good question. Um, Harrison and James have, have kind of took the leadership role in that whole. They know how important that it, that part of it is. And Harrison, I guarantee it, Harrison will outwork anybody in the in the world. And he's going to have these guys work just as hard. So uh, it, if he misses ever misses a field goal, it's not going to be because of, because of a bad hole. And those guys are going to get so many reps. And, and both of them could do it. Uh, you know, they've, they've been working. You know, they're, they're up here on their own, doing their own thing. And and they're getting, uh, you know, they video stuff. So I'm getting to see it. And we're working through things right now as far as, you know, the holding stuff. And, and, and both guys that we have, you know, Tommy and Tyler can both uh, hold. So, you know, and, and Tommy did it last year, you know, started on, the, on Florida's team. So, uh, you know, they're both ex experienced. And, and, and you're right. It is an important job. And, you know, those guys, will, they'll, they'll rise to the, to the occasion. Coach, we appreciate you taking the time today. Thanks for joining us. You got it. Good to see everybody, man. See you, you soon. Too.